Welcome to another real-time trade. In this video, I'll discuss several ways to manage the trade to empower you to design a trade management model that suits your unique mental wiring. This is the stuff of the real game. Now let's join the trade in progress. Hey guys, Zar here. Hope all is well. Trust you're having a good day so far. It's 9.30. There's the first candle of the New York session here on Monday, November the 27th, and we're rallying. Let's take a look at the three sisters. There it is. It's on all of them. So that's an interesting move to start the day. This is the uh, three sisters, uh, NASDAQ, S&P, and the Dow from left to right for those who are newer with uh, VWAP, volume weighted average price, the blue line in the middle two and a half standard deviation bands watching to see uh, things like uh, synchronicity divergence relative strength relative weakness all kinds of things like that that can give us clues to what the next move might be at this point we are rallying on the open after selling off a little bit down here into the pre-market you see that there on all three let's go over and take a look at the uh, nasdaq shall we this is the, my trading grid and daily up on the top left 30 minute in the bottom left and then a one minute chart on the right hand side you can see we just open now we're into the second candle of the morning of the regular trading hours of course these are futures contracts but uh, many people of course trade things like cfds or etfs and Qs uh, for the for the nasdaq and and things of that nature be watching here guys i'll be cutting out uh, dead air and non-teaching moments, sideways grinding action, things like that to keep this video nice and tight. But we'll see what the market has to offer us today. There's a little bit of a pop on VIX here uh, overnight this morning here on Monday. We're at 13.07, up 4.9%, right? Seems like a, a big move, uh, but we are still very, very low near historic lows here on VIX or volatility, and that can make day trading very difficult, very challenging for most models and I know that a lot of people have been having a hard time the last few weeks at the very least if not longer and certainly the last week or two uh, but we'll see what happens for now I'll put you on pause guys oh let me show you a couple of other things here so that was the Nasdaq you can see that we're rejecting from some uh, resistance there this is the S&P we broke above and now we're rejecting uh, this is the Dow again broke broke above and now rejecting let me keep you live here for a little bit here just for a moment here might have an idea all right guys here we go buy stop order above this line right here right there you can see it I'm not going to uh, I got a chance here to place the marker right there I'll fix the uh, marker in a moment stop is below target above give me one moment just going over to my own platform sorry about the rush it's happening very quickly here And I'm in, guys. And I'm in. There it is. I had to wait a little while for that. It finally hit. And so I'm in right there. There's the actual entry. And I'm going to set up my trade markers here. The coin has been tossed. First trade of the week. First trade of the day at 1.11 p.m. After the twilight zone. The morning, there was nothing. We'll come back and talk about this and talk about this day. It's been an interesting Monday, that's for sure. And uh, we'll be right back. And it took a while, but target one has been hit. So the one R all or nothing trader has left the game with full profits. And the two R move stop to break even at one R has now moved their stop to break even like that because we hit one R. And so they will either get a zero, a break even, or a two R, nothing in between. And of course, the one and a half R and two R all or nothing trader is going to sit around here and wait to see what happens. This is a zone reversal trade, guys. Very, very textbook. It has not been a textbook day of price action. This has been a very messy Monday. There were no setups uh, earlier than uh, lunchtime. And then, of course, after the twilight zone, I always come back for the one o'clock candle. That's this one right here. And sure enough, on that candle, we pulled back initially right here and then broke above the prior candle high. The prior candle, of course, was an opposite color candle after drifting down into a support zone. That support zone is this, 
and this. The zone was, of course, um, revised down just a little bit because there was a shift of blue candle that was not broken to the downside. And so once those are formed and prices move up, I shift the, uh, the zone marker from up here down to the bottom of those ones because that becomes the most recent support zone price action. Hope that makes sense. Fairly self-explanatory, I think. So this is a zone reversal. We're asking a lot from this on a messy, messy day, rangy day, to get all the way up to here, potentially. Of course, the primary target for these trades is always 1R. And then we're looking for a more extreme target of 1.5 and then 2R to see if those models can, in fact, pan out. So far, this is a 1R winner because prices hit 1R before hitting the original stop. I'll put you back on pause and we'll see where we can go from here. Whoa, look at that. Did you see that? One big candle. Something came out, some news. 243 right now. Don't know what it is, but let's take a look at the three sisters and see what happened there. Yeah, all three of them getting hammered here real quick. And so that's a stop out right there at the original stop. And so this is a 1R winner. And uh, of course, the 2R move stop to break even at 1R had a break even. I'll update the, uh, I'll put you on pause for one second here. There it is, guys. There's the final tally. The 1R all or nothing trader got 1R, um, minus 1R charge for these two. And of course, the 2R move stop to break even at 1R was a break even. Thanks for being with me, guys. Very, very messy, sloppy day. One trade. It's 2.45 p.m. There may be something else in power hour, but I doubt it today. It is Monday, and it is a messy one. Thanks for being here. Thank you for your support and for clicking the like button and for saying hi in the comments. And we will talk to you soon. Take care. Thank you.